Local 12 meteorologist Scott Dimmick and I am tracking Hurricane Arthur as it makes a run to the north northeast. It will be brushing up against the coast of South and North Carolina through the afternoon tonight and tomorrow. Right now it is a category one hurricane, but later tonight and early tomorrow it will strengthen to become a category two hurricane. As of 2 o'clock this afternoon, the National Hurricane Center has Arthur with maximum sustained winds at 90 miles an hour with gusts as high as 109. It's moving to the north northeast at 13 miles an hour. It's a category one storm now, but it will strengthen to become a category two later on tonight and early tomorrow. And then eventually it will weaken late Friday and early Saturday and lose its tropical characteristics. So parts of the mid-Atlantic and New England will get lashed by this storm, but North and South Carolina will take a beating tonight as powerful storm surge, strong winds, and heavy rain batter the coast. Tori Duncan has more on the storm's impact. Wind and waves are picking up along the North Carolina coast as beachgoers get in their last few hours of clear skies. Hurricane Arthur is grinding toward the Carolinas, bringing winds surpassing 75 miles an hour and promising to put a damper on 4th of July festivities. Parts of North Carolina's Outer Banks remain under a mandatory evacuation. The more people that evacuate makes it a lot easier to go in there and clean up afterwards. We're not having to do a lot of search and rescue operations and hopefully uh, again, with this storm, we don't have loss of life. It's usually where we have casualties is either right before a storm or right after a storm when people uh, still feel too comfortable and not, uh, not listening to the warnings of the uh, public safety officials. Meteorologists say even if Arthur stays offshore as a weak Category 1 hurricane, that won't diminish the danger. The inland flooding due to heavy rain, uh, the rip currents and the waves, so we've had a lot of people die in the ocean, and then there's also the storm surge flooding. We could see two to four feet of uh, water above normally dry ground. According to AAA, some 41 million people are on the roads this week at a treacherous storm, and it could make traveling a nightmare. If you're out on the road, as uh, probably 80% of those who will be traveling will be, uh, pack your patience. Thankfully, Arthur will not be impacting the tri-state. We've had a deck of